Welcome to this Widex e-learning tutorial, where you will learn how to fine-tune in Compass 5. Compass offers you a wide range of adjustment possibilities for fine-tuning Widex hearing aids. In the fine-tuning panel, you can define tailored solutions to meet your client's preferences in various listening situations. Before beginning the fine-tuning stage in a fitting, you should complete the in-situ measurement of the sensogram and the feedback test. If you are refitting, you will have loaded the settings for the previous fitted hearing aids. To proceed to the fine-tuning window, click the fine-tuning menu item on the left. Under the fine-tuning menu item, you will find the sound diary and the documentation items. This video will not go into detail with these items or with the menu icons at the top of the fine-tuning window, as we will be covering these items and their related windows in other videos. When opened for the first time, the information in the fine-tuning window relates to the master program of the hearing aids. If the settings of previously fitted hearing aids are loaded, the programs selected for the hearing aid will be shown in the program starter at the top. The two graphics panels show the aided sound tracker. A real-time graph displaying the performance of the connected hearing aids for the right and left ear. The white shaded area of the colored bars shows the unaided signal and the colored bars of each band shows the gain added. Alternate views and scaling for the sound tracker are selectable and real-time visualization can be stopped and reactivated. The graph can also show static views of the hearing aid gain and output settings, for example, output versus input. Shown underneath is the gain settings panel. Depending on the selected hearing aid configuration, the gain settings are adjustable for up to 4 bands or, if selected, up to 15 bands. Settings can be adjusted simultaneously for both hearing aids or individually by clicking the Link Unlink button. The target values for the gain setting, deriving from the sensogram measurement, can be shown by clicking the target button. The four basic band gain settings are split into three horizontal areas, showing the insertion gain settings for soft, normal and loud sounds. Click on the square corresponding to the frequency and input level you wish to adjust and click the arrows up or down. It is also possible to adjust several parameters simultaneously, for example by left-clicking and holding down the left-click button while dragging the mouse over the 2000 and 4000 Hz boxes. You can also adjust the gain in the 4000 Hz band for all three input levels. You can also change all of the gain settings by clicking the Select All button. Gain at all input levels in all bands will then be adjusted when you click the up or down arrow. You can always undo or redo your adjustments by clicking the undo or redo buttons. Gain settings for loud and soft sounds are also adjustable using presets. Below the gain settings panel there are options available to meet the client's need for lower or higher gain for these sounds. The default settings always meet the gain targets. For first-time hearing aid users, the acclimatization slider allows adjustment of the gain to gradually meet the gain target for the client. Three stages providing gradually more gain can be selected until the fourth stage, the target gain, is achieved. Note how the gain settings change according to the changes in the slider position. 
As mentioned, the settings in this screen initially relate to the master program. If other programs have been selected in the program manager, the settings will by default also affect the other programs available. We will not cover the program manager just yet, but we have prepared a second program, the comfort program, and the thin arrow shows the link between the master and comfort programs. When selecting the fine-tuning screen for the comfort program, the program link button becomes visible, and you can now unlink the gain settings for this program from the master program. If you relink the program to the master program, all settings selected for the comfort program in the unlinked state will be lost. Below the gain settings, you will find the feature settings. Microphone modes. Here you can enable the available microphone modes for the hearing aids. The default setting is marked with an asterisk. Speech and noise modes. Here, various noise reduction and speech enhancing modes can be selected or turned off. The default setting is marked with an asterisk. Impulse sound modes, if available. Transient control of the hearing aid is available in two modes and can be turned off if desired. The default setting is marked with an asterisk. Feedback cancelling modes. Here you can select between various feedback cancelling modes if available or turn this off. The default setting is marked with an asterisk. By clicking using this window, you will find a very useful feature when you start to work with the fine tuning window, namely a description of the selectable variables in the window. Displaying this content also gives you instant access to the description of related topics in the Compass Manual.